Welcome to Xar template tutorial lesson number 12. For this Xar Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to create new layers, how to delete layers, we'll talk a little bit about the mouse off layer, a little bit about the mouse over layer, we'll go about also talking how to see what objects are on a particular layer, and we'll also go over how to delete a web page within your multi-page web document. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a brand new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, first thing you're going to do is go to the page and layer gallery, and that should be on the right usually within the program. Sometimes it may be on the left, depending on how you have the program set up, and it could be on the bottom as well. But if you look to the right of your screen, you should see an option that says page and layer gallery. If you don't, as you learned in the previous video, you'll go to Utilities, Galleries, and then you'll look for the option Page and Layer Gallery and make sure that that has a checkbox by it. So if that does, then you should see that some this Page and Layer Gallery somewhere in your document and when you push your cursor over it, it'll show you the Page and Layer Gallery information. So as you can see here, we have a mouse off layer and I'll select that so you can see it and if you select that layer it's indicated by the blue rectangle and that, sh that signifies that you have that layer selected and then you have the mouse over layer and I'll select that just so you can see it and when you highlight it it'll turn blue it'll have a blue rectangle behind it but we're gonna select the mouse off layer and kinda go a little bit over that and I'm gonna actually lock this panel using the little thumbtack up in the right hand corner here just like you learned in the previous video that way I don't have to worry about it flying away if I move my cursor off the window. But the mouse over the mouse off layer that we have selected, that's usually where you're gonna place most of your text and objects. You know, I would say even as much as ninety percent of the time you'll usually have it on the mouse off layer. It's probably about a ten percent chance you'll put it on the mouse over layer. The the mouse o over layer is for special items. And the mouse off layer is what you see when you go to your website. So mouse off layer, it, when you go to the website, no matter what, you're going to automatically see everything that's on the mouse off layer. Whereas the mouse over layer is only revealed when an action happens on the mouse off layer. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you had a square on the mouse off layer and you set an special effect to it, that when you click on that square, it reveals a piece of information it'll show it on the mouse over layer whereas anything you put on the mouse off layer is automatically revealed and don't worry if you don't fully understand this I'm trying to do my best to explain it to you hopefully it, it makes a little bit of sense if not don't worry about that part so much but the next thing you should know that we're about to cover and I'm going to show you how to draw objects on the mouse off layer so let's go ahead and do that with the mouse off oh, sorry about that accidentally click the button and drag my screen across here okay so go ahead and make sure you have that mouse off layer selected go to your quick shapes doesn't matter which one and just draw a few few objects on the screen and you'll notice as you draw those objects you see the rectangles here on the mouse off layer so now you can see that anything that you draw on the screen right now is on the mouse off layer and if you wanted to, you can hide this too. Maybe maybe you don't want to see the objects you're drawing on the mouse off layer. Just click this option here, this little arrow, and it'll collapse that layer, and now you can't see it. And you'll just, just see the same preview that you see here on your document in the thumbnail. It'll show you all the objects in the order that they are on the screen for that particular layer. But if, if you want to see all those objects individually, that's just a rectangle it'll show you that each of these are rounded rectangles and if you ch let's say you change the color of one of these rectangles and you should already know how to do this if you watch the, the previous tutorials any changes that you make to these these objects will reflect on the mouse off layer so now there's a green rectangle we have a, a black rectangle we have a red rectangle and as you select any of these objects on this mouse off layer it also indicates that it's selected in your workspace. As you can see there's a, a bunch of nodes around this square. If we select the green rectangle there's a bunch of nodes around that. 
So any of these objects that you select in the mouse off layer, it'll select it in your workspace. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll show you how to delete uh, a layer. Well, actually, I'll show you how to delete objects from your your mouse off layer by using the the drop down menu here, like the the click to open to show the the objects on that layer. So let's say you want to get rid of this green rectangle, you'd right click it and you would hit delete rounded rectangle, and you can delete an object. And this is helpful if you got a lot of stuff going on in your workspace. Sometimes it's easier just to look in your mouse off layer and find the, the object that you want to delete. And just left click on it once. You'll see the blue rectangle behind it showing that it's highlighted. Right click it and hit delete rounded rectangle. So that's how you delete objects off of a specific layer using the layer options. So let's go ahead and close that. We're going to now make a new layer. Let's go ahead and go up here. You'll see an option for new layer. Left click on that and it'll say layer three. And we'll call it next layer maybe or whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter. And we'll call it next layer. And we're going to left click this layer that we just created and drag it in between the mouse over and mouse off layer. And the reason is you never really want to have any layers above your mouse over layer. Because you got to remember, your mouse over layer is going to reveal extra information. So you want to have everything beneath it. So just remember, when you make new layers, it should be between the mouse over and mouse off layer. You really don't want to have anything underneath the mouse off layer or you know above the mouse over layer when you're dealing with layers. And I'll say that one more time, just so you can make sure you're getting that through. Don't have anything above the mouse over layer and don't have anything below the mouse off layer. There is one occasion where you'll have something below that, but I can cover that in another tutorial when we're dealing with with, uh, with backgrounds and stuff like that. But you typically want to create your layers and keep them between the mouse off and mouse over layer. So let's go ahead and while we have that selected, draw a rectangle on that layer. And you'll notice that the red rectangle goes over the black rectangle and that's because the next layer is above the mouse off layer and if you place your cursor over it you'll see that you have a red rectangle on that layer and since that layer is stacked on top that means that this red layer this red square is going to be on top of the black square because it's on the mouse off layer so let's go ahead and make another another layer here Hit, go ahead and select the next layer if you haven't and then hit new layer and we'll call it next layer 2 maybe and we'll drag that down because we don't want it above the mouse over layer so left click that and hold your left click mouse down drag it right above the next layer and you'll know that it's it's working because you'll see a little arrow next to your cursor like for example if we were right here it gives you a do not enter like symbol, but if you go right beneath the, the mouse over, you'll see that you now get an arrow. And depending on which way it's facing, it won't actually go to a certain place. So like if it's below here, it'll go beneath the, beneath the next layer. If you go above here, it'll change the arrow to point upward. So depending on which direction you go, that little arrow, it's pretty hard to see, will indicate which way it's going to drop. But in this case, let's just keep the next layer two right above the next layer. And we don't have anything on that layer, so let's go back to the quick shapes. Draw another shape. And let's make it maybe a green. And you'll see now that on the next layer two, we have a green rectangle. And it's now above the red rectangle. And it's above the black rectangle. So as you can see, we can overlap objects using layers. Let's go ahead and select the selection tool. And I'm going to move some of these objects around so that you can clearly see that the green rectangle is over the red rectangle and the black rectangle is on the mouse off layer. So that's how you create new layers and that's how you place objects on each of those layers. We have an object on each of these layers. Now if you wanted to, let's say that, well, I don't want the green rectangle to be above the red rectangle. Well, you just left click on next layer 2 
and then left click and drag while holding the left click mouse and drag it beneath the next layer and now you'll see that the green rectangle is underneath the red rectangle but it's still above the black rectangle if you move it over some and you'll see that oh okay now the green rectangle is below the red and the red's above it so this is very helpful if you're dealing with a lot of objects and you, let's say you have 20 objects on the next layer too and 30 objects on the next layer well you don't want to manually have to remove all those by hand you could just simply drag the layer underneath the other layer and it'll it'll place those objects under it so it's very useful in moving a lot of objects at once by using layers and there's other reasons that you you use layers but that's just one example that I think is is a common reason to use layers another way you could use layers is just to organize your your objects depending on what you're drawing or designing there are certain elements that may belong together and you may want to keep it on a specific layer. So let's go ahead and show you how to delete a layer. If you select next layer by left clicking on it you'll see that there's a blue rectangle and then if you go to the delete button option up here it'll delete that layer and it'll say the layer contains some objects It's giving you a warning. Are you sure you want to delete them? So when you delete a layer you delete every object that's on that layer so if we had 50, 50 squares on the next layer it would delete every object on that layer so be very careful when you're deleting a layer because you could potentially delete all of your your design information on that layer and you won't be able to get it back when you do this so this is not a reversible uh, event you know if I go back and hit reverse oh I apologize I'm very wrong it actually is reversible. I've never tried that before. I thought once you delete the layer, it would be gone forever. So I apologize for that that uh, statement. It looks like you can delete a layer and actually bring it back. So it is reversible, but I still will be careful with it in case you save the program and close it and you forget that you deleted that layer. But to delete a layer, you just simply click on it and you can hit the delete button or you can right click on it and you can hit delete layer and it'll give you a warning because you're going to be deleting all the objects on that layer. So now you know how to delete layers, you know how to, you know, rearrange the layers by left clicking and dragging it. You know how to see all the objects on a given layer by clicking the little arrow to the left to see what's in there. You know how to collapse the layer so that you don't see the objects. And so you know how to do those things now. The next thing I want to show you is how to delete a page. In the previous tutorial I meant to show you that but I forgot to so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to in this layer in this tutorial I'm sorry. Hit the hit the uh, where is it at? Yeah okay yeah select this thumbnail for the index page and it'll as you know it'll be highlighted blue with a rectangle to let you know it's selected and hit new page option up here and when you get this new page if you wanted to delete this whole page just go ahead and hit the delete key and it'll say I'm sorry it'll say delete the current page and make sure you have it selected and you'll see that blue rectangle behind it so if you hit delete it'll delete that whole page so that's how you delete a whole page and I'll be careful with deleting the whole page too because if you forget and you save and close the program you won't be able to get that page back that I know for sure so don't don't do it without caution always make sure that you're paying attention to what you're deleting because you could potentially potentially lose a whole page of content so that pretty much covers everything that I would want to teach you right now about managing layers well I think I can show you some more let's let's go ahead and do a little bit more I'm going to show you how mm, Nah, I won't do it this tutorial. Had I've made my mind up. So in another tutorial, I'll show you how to do a little bit more with layers. But for right now, you know how to rearrange them, delete them, create new layers, and delete pages. If you have any questions about this tutorial, uh, just simply send me a message on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay updated on any new video releases. And thanks again for watching this tutorial. Have a great day. Yeah.